The non-availability of petrol is worsening by the day, with multiplier effects on all sectors of the economy with transport fares increased in Benin metropolis. Although most filling stations dispense as high as between 240 and 270 naira, despite the product not available, residents and motorists throng NMPC mega filling stations to purchase the product. Some end users say the situation would have been properly managed if there was a government tax force monitoring filling stations that either hoard the product or sell exorbitantly. They said if government has the interest of improving the welfare of the citizens, modalities should have been put in place by the state government to ameliorate their plight against the backdrop of the endless queues at filling stations. We well, want to encourage the state government to to bring that task force that we're going around to monitor this fuel crisis because a lot of petition will have fuel they are not selling. That's why the thing is so serious now. They should make provision concerning this fuel. We have been suffering enough because of this fuel. The government should look for something about it to do. It's unfortunate we don't have people that want that know the feelings of the people they are leading. It's unfortunate, very unfortunate. I've been here since 5 a.m. I started from a DSS uh, from there. This now I'm reaching here. However, the frustration of the situation comes with some drama, following an argument between two customers over jumping of queue and another by manager of another filling station dispensing at 250 naira per liter and attempted to prevent journalists from carrying out their statutory duty. You affect talk what you want to carry camera go down. my friend. Okay, carry camera go down. We are all suffering this thing. We just jump, shook his head and jump inside. This is wrong. At least, if you can remove somebody like this, it won't keep happening. Other people won't be suffering. It's the least we will do. Let's make sure other people don't suffer. Edo State Commissioner for Mining and Energy, Etan Zamiri, was said to be in a meeting when the news crew visited his office to ascertain if there are plans to monitor sales at filling stations. A press release made available to the news crew quotes the commissioner as reassuring the people that the situation will be addressed as it was not peculiar to Edo State alone, which was caused by flooding. A Fosa Wangwe reporting.